Today on our 2004 Dodge Sprinter, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch part number 13250. This is what our hitch will look like once installed. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is two inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 16 and a half inches. This will assist your selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. Now we'll go ahead with installation. To begin the install of our hitch, we'll first need to relocate some air lines that run to the bumper. To relocate the air lines, we'll first remove the cap and then the securing nut for the bracket. Then we'll be able to remove the line nipple from the bracket. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the first fastener closest to the end of the line. Once we remove that fastener, it'll remove it from the frame where our hitch will be attaching. We'll go ahead and roll the line out of the way and store it for reinstallation later. Now note, each process we do here on one side will get repeated identically on the opposite side. So next, I'll move over to the passenger side and repeat the same process for that airline. Next, we'll need to remove a frame fastener on each side. This frame fastener is also the support bracket for the rear step bumper. Once we remove the fastener, we'll go ahead and set it aside. Now we're ready to start installing the new hitch. To secure the hitch, we'll take the long bolt and half inch flat washer, along with a half inch flange nut, to secure three out of the four attachment points that go through the frame. The fourth attachment point will not actually secure the hitch, but will go back into the step bumper bracket. We can also reinstall the manufacturer's bolt making sure that it is still flush with the bracket on the inside of the frame rail. Before we put our hitch in place, because this application has a step bumper bracket, we'll need to twist off the removable corner of the spacer block. Once we do that, we'll then take our bolt and flat washer, put it into position far enough that we'll hold the spacer block up against the frame. We'll go ahead and put several of our new fasteners in place to help hold the spacer block. Now with that hardware in place, it's a good idea to get next to the hands and we're going to go ahead and put our hitch into position. Once in place, we'll go ahead and push our bolts into position and through the attachment points of the hitch. Now with the hitch resting on our new hardware, we'll go ahead and install the flange nuts for the new hardware. We'll go ahead and install the last bolt through the frame, through the spacer block, and then through the hitch, securing it with the flange nut. Now with all the hardware in place, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Next, using the hitch as a template, we'll need to drill a hole into the bottom of the frame. Using the step bit process, we'll start with a smaller pilot bit and work our way up to the final size. Now with our hole drilled in the frame, we'll need to make an access hole on this application. The access hole will need to be at least an inch and an eighth as per the instructions. Once again, we'll go ahead and make a pilot hole and then we'll use our hole saw to cut out the large one and eighth inch hole. Now with the hole cut out, we're ready to go ahead and install our hardware into the frame. We'll take the bolt leader, go through the attachment point and out the access hole in the bottom of the frame. Then we'll slide on the block and thread on the carriage bolt. We'll feed the block up into the frame, followed by the carriage bolt and pull them into position. Once into position, we'll remove the pull wire and secure it with the half inch flange nut. Now with all our hardware in place, we'll make sure everything's tightened down. Next, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated instructions. Now with our hitch secured and torque specifications, we'll go ahead and reinstall the air lines that we removed earlier. And there you have it, we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install of our Kurt Hitch, part number 13250 on our 2004 Dodge Sprinter.